Hello, and welcome to our continuing Settlement Survival Extreme Plus 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 Redo series. I'm Larry, it's episode 39, and we, the never-ending battle continues. Well, while we're waiting on our supplies to show up for the villas, let's go ahead and let's get these obsidian mines started. And I'm thinking we're going to place one right here and I'm thinking we can go as far as what okay we need to go this would be what the same size here let me put in a road so I need to make sure I line these things up I'll pause this real quick let's put this in here and let's Okay, about right there. And let's go ahead and uh, get rid of these roads. Make life just a tad bit easier. And let's go ahead and put in our stone roads. And we'll put those right there. Now, the big thing is, let's just go ahead and get that stuff started. And we'll bring that here. Okay, what we need to worry about is let's get ourselves a transfer station. Now the transfer station could go there, but I could also send it further back. Now what would be really cool, let's try this. Let us... Do some terraforming and let's cut that stuff out right there. Now, I'm wondering, could we by chance, there's mountain storage, can we get one here? Ooh, we actually can. I'm going to put that there. Let's go ahead and put a road right here. And let's go ahead and switch over to the transfer station. And it will fit. Ooh, I'm liking this. So we'll put the transfer station right here. Now, I know this may sound weird to have this thing here, but I'm thinking when this thing hits 100%, it's going to throw rest of the obsidian in here. That's what my thinking is. I could be totally wrong, but that's what I'm hoping for. So life will be good there. Now, over here... We're, of course, we're sucking wind on our uh, cactus big time. And that's no good. We need to resolve that. And let us start getting some cactus. Oh, wait a minute. I want to do some building over here first. Because we're going to be building left to right. So, yeah. Now... We have a transfer station here. What I'm also thinking is a second one. Oh, maybe not. I guess we won't worry about that right now. Let's just worry about housing. So with this, I am going to throw in another road right here. And that should help a little bit. We have one person that wants housing, and I'm hoping our ships will show up soon. We haven't lost anybody, so that's a good thing. These things might get through. I Hopefully they will. But we have other fish to fry, and we do have an animal plague coming up. Now what's interesting is 
are these pea fields actually getting fully harvested? And if not, why? Because I'm worried about storage being an issue. But I think another issue we're also having is we don't have baskets being made. And that, I think, is severely hurting us. So we do have to get that going. And which ones make the baskets? Is it the advanced crafter or the advanced tailor? No. Or is it the weavers? I'm trying to remember which one does it. Yeah, the weavers. So right now, ooh, with all that bamboo, okay. We need to strategically place some weavers around because we don't want them running around all over the place. And I never put a road in here. Oh, that was kind of mean of me. So there to there. Now what would be interesting is can I get a weaver right there? Yes, we can. So let's go ahead and let's pop a weaver right here because we have reeds in this. So we should not have to worry about any shenanigans going off there. Now, we missed. I thought we missed something over here. Come on. Oh, I no, we lost it. I thought there was something in there for us. Okay, new tech point. So livability's done, trade's done, uh, education's done, trade is done, mining's done. Okay, we've got what construction. Oh, we were gonna do processing next. So let's get into barbecue because I don't think we have anything in logistics that are crazy right now. So let's go ahead and let's get the barbecue dunk going. Okay, we have an animal plague. Who got hit? Oh, not the piggies. Ah, uh, okay. See, now this is the danger of having large pens is we could lose half of these where if we had them in the corrals, you know, what's the worst thing that's going to happen? We lose 10 where here we can lose the whole shooting match. But if you look at, you know, we're getting 2000 pork out of here. And come on, guys, I have four of you here. You need to start doing more because we have to worry about the plague going into other animals. That's one of the reasons why you lose so many of them. There we go. Okay, life is good. Let's bring this back up to, what was it, 64? 68. Okay. We're probably going to kill off a couple more. But not bad. We only lost eight. So we should be happy with that. Okay, so now we have, let's see. Let's go ahead and max this one out. And let's go ahead and let's start getting baskets. We have so much bamboo that let's go ahead and let's start getting some of those done. And let's get some baskets started over here. And can I get, ooh, our caravan, both of them, ha, 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 okay, squirrel moment, 
time to get back to some important business here. And first I am, okay, we get, I don't know why all this stuff repopped. Oh, it popped because, <gasps> oh, how far did we get with Rania? Level four on Rania. Can you freaking believe that? Oh man, this is like insane. This is going to be awesome. Okay, that is exactly what we wanted. So, I won't worry about those orange bubbles just this second. Let's go ahead and let's get... Oh, wait a minute. We might... Yeah, let's go ahead and plan these in. Because we want these. Let's go ahead and let's get this stuff started. Now, I am going to do one thing, and that's, if you notice, with how I did this, these do not have roads in between them. I am not too concerned about that. It's, the, we, can, we can pack them like this, just as long as there is some type of road between them every so often so I could place this one right here just to make it easy for to get around the church and that would be a smart move to do so that's what we're gonna do we'll get these stone roads in and I think we have to wait for this stuff to offload yes so we'll get these things built oh this is going to change things big time big time i say <laughs> we will be able to uh get rid of some of this housing and we're gonna improve our happiness right off the bat because if you notice, oh, I'll let one of these things get built. Now, I know I should not have started so many at one time, but we have, we have everything that we need. So it's no big deal. And let's go ahead and go into feasts. And did we get these things started up yet? Oh, yes, we did. So let's go ahead and bring these things up to full power. There we go. Life is, ooh, life is going to change for us like there's no tomorrow. Okay. So we now have that. Now the big thing is, is controlling the amount of housing we have to the workforce. Because if we have too much housing, then that's just a waste of space. And since we're going for 5,000 population, oh, it's going to be bad enough to rebuild this map. But I don't, I don't want to have to keep on rebuilding and keep on refining and keep on rebuilding. Because that's going to be exhausting and a total pain. Now, look at this. A minus 25% citizen stress. That is going to start going huge in this. Now, what that's going to do is, I do believe it goes directly to housing. I could be wrong, but it, it's going to help us. Just trust me on that. <laughs> okay. So we have the first group of housing. And we have the heating. So we can go ahead and get rid of this one. We'll demolish this. We'll get rid of the roads. Because these houses are going to go away. 
At least that's the plan. If, if we get into nobody going into these housing. I don't know if we're going to have an abundance yet. I'm hoping we will. Somebody's taken over this housing. Who is it? Okay, so we have to flush out some of these buildings. So these and these, these apartments, I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of them. Might as well not have them being taken up. Okay, so it's probably these that need to uh, get flushed out before anything. So, what I am going to do is we're going to work our way down this way with the housing. And we'll just go ahead and we'll just mirror it. And... We'll be able to start tearing down houses. So, do we have any obsidian yet? That's going to be under what? Raw materials? No. Construction materials. Okay, we do have some obsidian, so we can start replacing roads. So that's what we'll go ahead and do. Bring this all the way down this way. And now we can go ahead and start popping these in. I put a road in between these? No. I don't think so. No, there shouldn't be a road between these. Okay. Life is good. Yeah, I love to see them jet around with that obsidian. That is just awesome. Now, I, sh I do believe we purchased enough stuff for 50 of these I do believe hopefully we did well if my math was correct we should be able to get 50 of them in and so that means now we can put in our fields. And that's what we're going to do. But where do we want to start them out at? I like the idea. Oh, we're going to have to start them out right here strictly because of where this is at. So this is going to be our new norm area. So this is going to have to disappear. So let's go ahead and get rid of it. Okay, we'll get rid of that. And what is this? Oh, our advanced smithy. That is not something I wanted to get rid of. We're going to have to reposition those. I wanted some type of advanced smithy out here. Oh, not good. But it is what it is. Now, uh, one building we do have to check on. And it's going to be important. And it's going to be in textile. We have to build... Okay, we need to get the custom tailor shop up in the dying mill. I've never used them before, so let's just put them in a random area just so we can see what they have to offer. We'll put one there. And this is with the full 
intent of getting rid of them. They are not going to stay here. So let's go ahead and put this one right here. Let's get these things built and see exactly what they need. Because these are going to determine how we're going to do our clothing. Okay. All of these things are still filled with laborers. Look at their ages. Ugh. Okay. Another thing we also have to concentrate on at the same time is we need to get the gem mines up and going. So we need to find some clear mountains that we can use that are not too far away. What about these? Let's go ahead and pause this and let's go what mine okay gem mines these are 12 by 11 so they're the same size so we can get what one there one there would we be able to get one other one over here I think we can So they're basically going to have to be placed. Just like what right here. This is the one thing I hate about the mines is if we place them wrong, we're up a creek. Let's go ahead and put the fake road in. Okay, let's terraform. I'm going to take this chunk out and let's see. So we need what? One more line taken off? Come on, get in there. Why is my mouse not wanting to work? Okay, about right. And I'm gonna slide it over one right there. Okay, so that gives us three gem mines. And that's what I want. Okay, another thing that we're going to need over here is, of course, we're going to need... Oh, let's get our obsidian road over here. And we will place this obsidian there. And the one thing I do want over here is, of course, we want the transfer station. And I'll put that right here for now. I want to get the clinic, which should be the same size, which it is. And can we fit mountain storage over here? You know what? I, I won't worry about mountain storage right now. Let's just get those things built. And we'll go ahead and connect these roads. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. So we have these, which life is good. And we might as well just throw some obsidian right in front of this. I mean, why not? Okay, I like that. Now, we do have these things built. We now need to... 
oh, I really don't want to turn people homeless, but we may have to. Go into our processing, pick up bread shop. That's good. So we have this, and if you notice, we're down to 68%, which is nice. Okay, all these, the problem is, all these things are full, and that's not good. Because I want to keep people in this area. So in order for me to keep people in this area, let us put... Ouch. Yeah, but that'll, that'll still work. We're going to just put this thing down temporary. Just temporary. And let's go ahead and let's get the obsidian. Put there and put down here. Because if we can get some of these permanent roads in and benefit everybody, that's what we need to do. Okay, that's good. And let's get, I didn't think I put room in between these two, but I did. There we go. Okay. So we need to start stuff from here. So this has to get moved. Okay, what is this? This is the repair shop. And can I move the repair shop without screwing up the housing? That's the big question. Hmm. It does not look... Oh, wait a minute. Yes, we kind of can. But, oh, I don't want to turn these people homeless. Okay, guys, hurry it up. And our building kits are sucking wind. This is where we're going to get in trouble. How are we doing over here, guys? Planks are not a problem. It's glass that's going to be a limiting issue. Bricks. Let's go ahead and bring this up to 500. And let's go ahead and increase the number of workers that they have. And that's about all we can do there until we start rebuilding our industry. And we've got a flood coming, which is grr. Now, for some reason, some of our production has gone up. Now, that could be from the amount of baskets that we're, we're making. Maybe that might have helped. Because if you notice, our raw medicine went up. And the only way raw medicine is going to go up is it had to have been a carrying capacity. So maybe some of our biggest woes we've been having is lack of baskets. So let's move this up to 1500. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to reinforce it. Okay, so now we have these guys. What do we have here? Okay, we have cotton cloth that it needs for dyeing cloth. Okay, that's all well and good. But what benefit is are we going to get? Okay, we don't need rough clothes. Right now, down jackets. Holy crap. With down jackets, all it takes is linen and cotton cloth or cotton cloth. That is, that's crazy. Oh, wow. It doesn't recall, it doesn't call for leather. For the luxury jackets. And for gowns. 
Wow, do you realize what we could do right now? We could jump right into refined leather and go right into gowns. Ooh. And this is much, much warmer than luxury coats. And then these... I thought one of these... Is it the custom gowns that... I thought one of the uh, some of these things improved happiness or stress or something like that. I guess they don't. I guess it's. Huh. I thought. Huh. Okay. Well, it is what it is. Okay, so we are going to need to, uh, we need to get cotton going. Okay. And that's what we're going to do. But in order to do that, we are going to have to fix a few things. And this one already has 15 people. Can you freaking believe it? That's not a good thing. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get rid of these. We will go ahead and demolish. I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll take them one chunk at a time here. Oh, but one chunk at a time is going to drive me absolutely insane. This is too slow. They'll bounce over to here. Oh, wow. Our tech points are just rocking. So processing, that is going to be done and done. So we're done with processing. Our next one that we're gonna deal with is, let us worry about, we'll deal with logistics next. And backpacks, Oh, yeah, we're going to resolve a lot of our issues around town. But the funny thing is, is, backpacks with what we're getting out of baskets. Eh. Okay, we'll get it. Hey, maybe we may turn around and sell baskets. I don't know. But we'll get it figured out. Okay, let's go ahead and get these started. So that one here, that one, and, ooh, that's kind of jacked up, isn't it? Okay, stop, 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 stop. Because this right there needs the... Okay, let's get rid of this one. We will do this. We'll put this here. And now we can put some type of storage right here. Oh, no. Let's do this. We will go ahead and let's do some fire control as well. We'll put this road in here. And just for grins, we'll get that right there. Let's put in some fire control. Because they don't need a road. They really don't. So let's go in with uh, a small well. And let's... I'm just going to go in with... A basic... Let's just go in with a basic right here and we'll just place this for water we don't need massive we just need a little bit of water there just to make some people happy 
So let's just do that. Okay. So we have that. And now we, once these are built, we'll get rid of these. And then, oh crap, I got to figure out some place to put him. Still haven't decided where I'm going to put the repair shop. Because we do have to have repairs over here. And this is not wide enough. Huh. And that a four by four won't fit here, will it? No. Okay, so this goes away and the repair shop's going to go in its place. Or no, that's not even going to work because we're going to use this as the offshoot. Huh. Sure. So all these buildings need to go away. I tell you what, let's do this. Let's do, uh, we'll do an advanced smithy. Can this line up decently? I'm going to pause this. We'll do an advanced smithy here. Possibly two of them. No, let's do one. We're going to need what? We're going to need the custom tailor. And don't tell me these things are all going to be jacked up in size. Yeah. So they'll fit that way. See now, since I'm trying to going to be doing as a final design on this, I've got to be a lot more pickier on what goes where, why, and all that fun stuff. So. Oh, so this does. Wait a minute. Size of this thing. Oh, it's a seven by four. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, so that's not working out for me. So that's a five by six. Let's go ahead and put spacing here. We'll do the custom tailor there. Get rid of these. And get rid of this. We'll have to put in... This is what, too wide? So if we put too wide right there and we put in a road, okay. No, I just came up with a better idea. Let's just do this. Take that out. Design on the fly. Yay. So let us. Let's do the advanced smithy. Right here. But. We're going to put in two of them. And that's fine. Let's. We're going to move this over. We're going to delete this. Now, let's do a supply station. And 
And this should fit. Ugh. I don't like that. Hmm. How can I fix this? <gasps> this is how I can do it. Just have to reconfigure. That works. Okay. We'll do that and that. So that brings us this. Then we can turn around and throw this in. Which. Oh God, I'm going to have to put roads in. We'll do this. Just like that. Okay, now this one will go here. Like so. So that will bring us close. This will bring us uh, steel tools. This will bring us carts. So we have the carts, tools, clothing, and what is, oh, I'm thinking treasure. Where's the candy store? That's a six by six. And that will fit. It's not perfect, but oh yeah, actually it is. So yes, I'm liking this. So we'll have that here, that there. Okay. So we're going to have that going well for us. Okay. Life is good. And what are you saying we don't have? We don't have glass. Okay, great. So, glass is not keeping up. Which we knew it wouldn't. I mean, it is what it is. Our glass is at 64. We cap it at 300. Yeah, we're going to run out of sand anyway. Okay, it is what it is. Now, we need to end the episode because this episode is going way too long. I got distracted, sorry. So, depending on where you're at in the world, and when you see this video, hopefully you're having either a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good evening. And hopefully you're happy, healthy, and safe. If you're in Europe, please be safe. I'm Larry. And I am going to talk to you in the next episode. Bye.